Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. In the last couple of videos, I shared a couple of ideas on how to build dynamic queries. Some users told me those ideas were a little advanced for them. In this video, I want to step back and provide an overview of Excel Power Query, what is M-Code and why we use it. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment or any Power Query questions. If you are new to Power Query, I highly recommend you watch the Power Query 0 to 1 series, which are designed to help new users to learn from scratch in less than an hour. So, what is Power Query? What is M-Code? In the Power Query video, I explained in detail what Power Query can do. In short, Power Query is a powerful data transformation tool and is part of Power BI and Microsoft Excel. M-Code is the coding language behind the scene. Mike Jerving from Excel is fun described Power Query equal to power and M-Code equal to more power. I learned a lot from his channel. Why do we use M-Code? Fun? Fancy? We hit the bottleneck due to the limitation of standard function. Say you were so excited transforming and building up a monthly report for the sales department. You received an email from the sales department. What's wrong? That's why we need to write M code for future proof queries. There are some basic terminologies I want to you know before we dive in a bit more. Anything within the red line is known as table. In a table, you have columns and rows. In Power Query, a column is known as list and a row is known as record. You will get a list if you create a blank query and type sales, open square parenthesis, order number, and close square parenthesis in the formula bar. Sales is a table where order number is a column. Select a row, and you will get to preview your record. Those steps in the applied steps field are known as let expression. Let us dive into each of the transformation steps. When we apply the data type function, you get the change type step. You see the curly parenthesis in the formula bar that represents a list. The highlighted list contain multiple lists the M code being generated as a static code for the change of data type. For example, if the column order number delete or changed of name, then you will get an error when you try to refresh the query. When you unpivot columns, you select the columns and then unpivot them. Those selected columns appear as a list as highlighted in the formula bar. Again, these codes are static, and any change to the column or column will result in error during refresh. You select particular columns and then use the replace value function to find the keyword and replace it with a specific value. The static part, in this case, is the selected columns. Any changes to the column name will result in an error during the refresh. The concept of the rename column step is the same as the change type S step. With the pivot column function, Power Query generates the M code for the selected column as a list, which is different to previous examples. Two static codes are generated in this case, a column as a list and a column name. Changing the column name or deleting the column will result in an error during the refresh due to static code. I showed you a few examples today about the limitation of M code generated from the standard functions will work well if only there are no changes to the source data, which is very unlikely in today's world. However, slightly modifying the generated M code can help you polish up your queries and make them unbreakable. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.